Well, hello again, friends. We give a lot of attention these days to vaccines that are being approved and are being rolled out to various countries. Canada's stream of vaccines is supposed to dramatically increase this week as compared to the last little while. We've got a long way to go in terms of getting people vaccinated. I was heartened to see locally that where just weeks ago there were 50 outbreaks in care facilities in our province. Now with most individuals in long-term care vaccinated, there are just 12 outbreaks ongoing and we expect the number to drop going forward. And it was with such great joy. Last week, the quarantine was lifted in the facility where my mom lives. And for the first time in a couple of months, she was able to get out of her room and just go to the dining room to meet with her friends and have their usual meals together. Ha! It's a happy day for her and for all of us. Well, along with those changes, it's also important to note that doctors and scientists are also learning new treatments for those who do get sick with COVID-19. Treatments that are keeping people from going from mild or medium symptoms to severe, or even keeping alive those who are very ill. There have been great strides with many drugs, some previously used for treatment of other conditions and some newly developed. You know, it is really good that across the earth, doctors and caregivers are willing to listen and learn from each other as we go forward in the pandemic and look for the day when we can get past this constant vigilance and attention to this virus. Well, we pause, Heavenly Father, and pray. Uh, we want to thank you for the many good things uh, in, that are in this world that are available to provide treatment and help for those who get ill, and particularly those who get ill with COVID-19. Thank you for the lessons that have been learned with various treatments and the increasing number of patients with mild and severe illness who are now recovering. We particularly want to bring the long haulers to you as they struggle even months after recovering from the virus, but with lungs and systems that are severely compromised. Give those who research and treat them helpful insights today, we pray, and help them to be generous with their colleagues so the most benefit can be experienced by the most people going forward. Amen. Well, the sharing of medical information around the world is just a good model, I think, for all of us who want to grow and learn and live better every day in our life with God, successfully following his principles and finding the life our hearts have always longed for. God's word says, wisdom is found on the lips of those who understand what is right, but those who have no sense are punished. You know, those who've walked a faith-filled and consistent spiritual journey will Tell us of prayers that God answered when, well, they felt like giving up. When they persisted in doing the next right thing, God made a way for them to be overcomers, even maybe when they doubted that there was a way forward. In spite of hardship, they continued, and they learned lessons we can benefit from if we'll pay attention and apply those lessons to our daily living. Once again, the Bible says knowledge begins with fear and respect for the Lord, but stubborn fools hate wisdom and refuse to learn. Let that not be us. But now you know the true God. Really, though, it is God who knows you. So why do you turn back to the same kind of weak and useless rules you followed before? Do you want to be slave to those things again? Well, thanks, God wants to take us through to victory. But if we're unwilling to pay attention to his sound device and put it into practice, we'll forever find ourselves in the same old roundabout that really ends up getting us nowhere. God's word as recorded in the Bible assures us that he will honor all the promises he's made. So why not trust and obey what God says? Why not be a person who gains wisdom? Let's pray for that today, shall we? Loving God, with both gratitude and humility, we acknowledge again today that we only begin to know what we need to know when we admit that you and you alone are the source of all that's right and helpful. You are the one true God who created us 
and who holds all of time and all circumstances in your hands. You know us. You know what instructions we need today in order to thrive and to be a help to others. You've shared gifts and wisdom among your people. And it's, it's always been your plan that we would learn from your Holy Spirit, your written word, and from the example and experience of those who walked with you. There's so much available to us today. We don't want to waste it. We don't want to waste it by not exploring the information that's available to us, nor by failing to make use of it as we adjust our way of thinking and living according to that wisdom. So today, God, would you help us to pay attention, to listen and learn. Please give us the will and desire to trust and obey your word so we may gain wisdom and walk in your ways. Amen. Well, friends, God is with us today to instruct us. And all we have to do is observe, put them into practice as simply as best we can. Well, yeah. Good thing is we don't even have to do it perfectly. God is with us to help us. Let's make this a great day, shall we?